Um, folks on Lee Chess have been asking if 12 is greater than 11. And we're going to figure out if 12 is greater than 11. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is pit 12 against 11 and see over the course of 10,000 Blitz games, um, can Stockfish 12 actually defeat uh, Stockfish 11 without 12 even using the neural network? So it's been a thought over the past, um, uh, I forget how long, ever since Stockfish 12 was released months ago. Um, folks have been wanting it immediately on Leeches. And uh, there's been some resistance because we've noted that without the neural network, there really isn't that much benefit to in-browser running uh, the Leeches client. In fact, let me share a perspective this way, right? Oh, goodness, it's not ca capturing. Let me fix that. Uh, to MS Edge. There we go. Uh, do I have any filters set up? Yeah, let's set this one. All right, so if I put us on leechess.org, um, you'll note that if you were to watch a game, or rather if you could find the previous game that was played, oh, due to my Zen mode magic, uh, you can't actually see previous games so easily. So let's just navigate down here. So here's a board, um, and you can see in the browser you have access to Stockfish 11 WebAssembly X. Um, so this particular browser supports a version of Stockfish 11 that runs well in a browser. Um, yeah, yeah, no, you're absolutely right to him. Well, I mean, okay, <laughs> put this in context, right? Um, yeah, Lee Shogi is very new, and again, I feel bad for you, like, that you were very excited about doing the project, and then it suddenly surfaced, um, and I'm looking at this as a positive thing that, hey, somebody put a stake in the ground, they've deployed the site, and now we can all start contributing to it once it's out there. The version whatever we're on right now might not be perfect, but it leaves room to grow. Um, so yeah, lots and lots and lots of questions are being asked right now. That's definitely for sure. So yeah, uh, so I'm running a test to see like if the version that's deliverable for this engine can run better um, than the one that's already out there, even without the neural networks, which don't behave or which aren't supported in a browser anyway. I've got a version of Stockfish 12 that does not use neural networks, so we'll see how that performs. But yeah, let's take a look at Lee Shogi now, because this is probably... Oh, server maintenance in 48 minutes. Nice. LeeShogi.org, 22 hours ago. I really... Oh, wow. Wanderer. I really appreciate everyone who offered to help donated, reported a bug, or made me aware of some possible improvements. Hello, guys. <laughs> oh, it's all my fault, too. Oh, no. Yeah, because, like, I saw Gotanda. Uh, she had been playing on the site, and this got me very excited. I posted this in a couple... I posted this in a Shogi channel mentioned it in another Shogi chan uh, Discord, and then had shared it with Lee Chess, and because folks on Lee Chess have been bugging me about, Dan, when are you going to make Lee Shogi? And I'm like, uh, eventually. Uh, but no. Uh, yeah, it seems that Lee Shogi got a lot more traffic than usual today. Yeah, we ran a tournament. A lot of people joined. It surprised me just how many people made it. Uh, I really appreciate everyone who offered to help, donated, reported a bug, or made me aware of some possible improvements. Definitely see and hear every single message. I'm really happy to get a positive feedback for the project. I know the site has many bugs, 
some more severe than others some bugs not yet just not yet implemented features and some bugs might even be game breaking ask for your patience while i'm fixing these bugs believe me when i say i want them fixed more than anyone i'll mm, not necessary to say because uh i'm actually like <laughs> I mean, yes, he did put a tremendous stake in the ground, but possibly I'm more ridiculously addicted to getting all the bugs fixed than he is at the moment. But anyway, while he tries his best to get them fixed as soon as possible, he apologizes for the inconvenience. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah. I, I think I caught him a little bit off guard by uh, catching the attention both of the Lee Chess crew as well as uh, Shogi Harbor's channel. So, yeah, I, I might have um, got him a lot of feedback in a very short time. So, I'm not trying to overwhelm him. <laughs> But yeah, thanks everyone for using Lee Shogi and getting all excited about this. Really what had me most excited about this project in the first place was the ability to collaborate and organize studies. Uh, a feature that 81 Dojo uh, doesn't internally support. You can import Kifu, you can export Kifu, that's great. Uh, but this is like a killer feature of Lee Chess that had to be done, and um, I'm just so amazed that this is out there already. Um, so yeah. Uh, well, we'll put it this way. There's server maintenance in 45 minutes, right? Um, and I submitted a patch. Uh, so we see I created a fork of the project. I'm not a maintainer. I just made my own little fork. And with my fork, I created two pull requests. One to fix a documentation spelling error. And another, I actually took some Scrabble tiles um, and struck them against a wooden rack to get noises of what a shogi piece might sound like against a wooden board. Um, so in about 48 minutes, if all things go well, um, my new sounds will be part of the site. So at that point I could claim, hey, I'm part of the site, right? That's how it works. I'm not keeping score, but apparently some people care. Um, but yeah, no, I'm trying to contribute. Um, so yeah, I checked out the project on GitHub. Um, so, yeah, recently I followed his instruction about how do you run this thing in a terminal. Um, and apparently, uh, if I run it correctly, even though I'm using a different Java version, apparently I could compile it, right? What was the last? Yeah, I wrote, I executed the compile command. So next, if I do a run, uh, we'll see it crash, right? Um, just kidding, but yeah, I've got a server. Uh, we'll see if I can actually run this, uh, this or not. You notice that diagonally move silvers in analysis mode always promote. Um, uh, I'm gonna, uh, you got my curiosity. So in analysis mode, a diagonally moved silver always promotes is the claim. Uh. I think it was just in your game. Um, I think what his explanation was is that somehow based on the Kifu import, uh, the leeshogi.org slash paste, wherever that is on this, uh, the ability to import a game did not do a proper sanity check on the particular game you imported that might have had some extra symbols in it, maybe. Or maybe something just went bat um, crazy server side. 
just parsing a completely valid file. I don't know, without the file, it's kind of hard for me to say. Lee Chess has had an occasional issue like that, too. Um, oh, it's gotten a lot better. Uh, but yeah, this is cool. But <laughs> Lily's Friendly Sumes. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, well, thank goodness the answer's right here, because otherwise, uh, first moves are just to put the pieces in hand. The position starts now. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, it'd be nice to have a position where you could already have the pieces in hand. Maybe there's a way to do that, and we just didn't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, may you take one V game I played and go into an analysis board? Uh, yeah, I could take a look at that game. So, anyway, this is Lily's Sume thing. So you sacrifice the rook, and then you sacrifice the other rook. And wait, that's not a sacrifice. Oh, okay, so this is what it looks like when promoted. Check. We just keep checking. Walk the king down, and then they block here. And then you check there, and you check here. Another check, here, check, there, check, everywhere, check, check. And oh, we don't have a lance, so the king's gonna go back up the board. And oh, this is our lance. There's. Yeah, this silver's pinned, so there's a gold checking. And then we promote discovering an attack. There we go. Arrows! Another fun feature. I can point the arrow wherever I want. Alright, but yeah, we can take a look at the game. Uh, Graf Schwarz. Alright, let's see. If I remember right, your game was... Oh. I guess I can't get to it this easily. I guess we actually do have to search by name. Um, so we got four games. And you had a game... Well, let's see. I want... Oh! Huh. There's no way that my copy of the site is completely up and running, right? I have to fix my reverse proxy server. Um, or just wait for it to resolve. My instance is taking forever to spin up. I might need to create the database. I might need to start the database application server, or database server. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Uh, uh, so let's take a look. Uh, okay, MongoDB is now running. Um, Oh, and then I need a Redis server up and running, too. All right. Um, I suppose the server works a lot better if I have all the necessary services running. But anyway, yeah, I found here's your game list. Um, is there a game in particular you wanted me to look at? Uh, go into analysis mode. I think this is an analysis mode. Um, so I can zoom through the move list. Uh, 
Oh. Bind exception. Address in use. Alright. Just collided with myself. Let's try again, see if we can get the service running. So maybe the bug only appears in this analysis board. Okay. Um so are we saying that like if remove one if I do this, uh it promotes, or where do I have to go in the game to see this? All right, take care. All right. Um, it's like I see here is this Silver 4C 5D Plus. Uh, this 4C 5D Plus. Now, if I just click here and click there, that's not a promotion move. Um, if I click here and click there, that's also not a promotion. But if I navigate the move list, that promotes. That's what we're talking about, right? Oh, I'm s wait. This game was played on the site. Oh. Well, that's interesting. Wait. How? So, if uh, under some circumstances a silver move that's played in the middle of a game promotes the silver. Wow. Okay. Did this happen during the game, too? I wonder how did this silver move in the future? Has it always moved as a silver? I'm watching it. I'm still watching it. It has not moved. So I can't prove whether or not during the game it did the same thing on the nail support, but I assume it did. Because why wouldn't it? Um, well, so... Uh, I'm confused. Um, I guess the next question is, how reproducible is this thing? Uh, how frequently can you get, like, free gold? Um, also, yeah, I mean, it's all open source. If it is reproducible, we should be able to reproduce it anywhere. And fix it anywhere. Um... Oh, it only appears in the post-game analysis. Okay, good. Yeah, like, if this had occurred during actual gameplay, I would be questioning how, like, 24 hours have passed with, without me finding out about this. So yeah, the fact that this only happens in post-game analysis makes more sense. Um, which contradicts what I was saying earlier about, like, this can't like, surely this must always be reproducible, but no. Alright, so apparently actually playing the game versus looking at post-game analysis produces different outcomes. Um, okay. What does the engine think about this? Okay, you don't want to know. <laughs> 4C5D. Yeah, but... Okay, if I click this, is it going to make a move? Okay, it does. So... Now, can the engine suggest um, promotion moves? Is this something the engine's capable of doing? So if I play like this... Um, can the engine suggest a promotion move? Yes, it puts a plus at the end of the move, and it does get promoted. All right, so 
Yeah. Um, what does the engine think after you've done the illegal promotion? Is it impressed? No, it's like, that's not a legal move, dude. Let's let's back up and pick a different move. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's good to see the engine has a sense of humor. Um, yeah, this is just an error in the game record. Um, now I wonder... Uh, okay, yeah, we have server maintenance in 31 minutes. Fine. Um, okay, here's the Fen. Really should say S Fen, but no big deal. I can't really read that. That's a lot of characters. And down here, I don't have a Kifu showing or a game record of any sort. Um, so. Oh, I know what I can do. I mean, yes. Let me show screens uh, here. Boop. All right. So, yes, I could show you what this looks like inside of Notepad. Uh, but let's take a look at what this uh, SFEN. Can I not paste that? Okay, why is this not pasteable? This isn't even a move history. This is, um, hmm. Apparently, I can't submit this kind of notation into, uh, ooh, that's beautiful. Not what I was looking for. Uh, svenreader.appspot.com Cool. Not cool. <laughs> uh, that's me trying to get Lee Chess or Lee Shogi running. Apparently, yeah, I can't um, import the svenreader for some reason. That's weird. Alright, whatever. So... Our my question was um, whether or not this text corresponded to what's on the board. So you got the top rank, the second rank, or we got the yeah we got these ranks in order. And so here we got P one P P A P P one P. So you got an A in the middle of this rank. Um, I'm guessing that A is supposed to be a promoted silver. Um, actually, can I take this and go to an analysis board and just dump it in? Hey, we lost our illegally promoted piece. Um, that's cool. Also, we got our silver back. How the hell? I just did a literal copy and paste of this Ben string. And you see clearly it contains S2B, like silver, two empty spaces, and a bishop. And when I pasted that in here, um, uh, you might not be able to see this so clearly, but we could see, like, there's the S2B, and there's the P's and the A in the middle. And somehow this resolved to this position, where there's not two spaces between the silver and the bishop. And... We don't have whatever an A is on the square. I I don't understand how software works these days. Uh, oh, it is reversed. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why I'm so confused. Okay, so yeah, it is reversed. The gold is right here. So if I were to flip the board, yeah, this is our promoted silver. Okay. 
Oh, thank goodness. Thank you. I was losing my mind over this. I'm like, this makes no sense. Even in the way that I'm trying to explain that it's broken, I could not parse, like, what was going on. Um, yeah, the board is actually very, very similar uh, in shape between the two sides. So this uh, caught me by surprise. Uh, okay, so yeah, I can paste this. I can see that this A is in the middle of the board. Um, so yeah, that's part of the S fen. Um, whereas if I were to take this A and replace it with some other letter, like S, would this do what we think it would do? Um, wait, what? What I pasted in had an A in it. What I'm looking at here in this text box has a, two, a S two B and then a P one P P plus S. So instead of an A, it has a plus S. Interesting. Um, but if I get rid of the plus and then I tab out of this field and flip the board again, now we've got a silver here instead of an A. And let's say I type in an A instead of an S. Yeah, the A gets transcoded into a plus S. Um, now, can I take this string and drop that into Shogi GUI? Uh, is this a valid S pen? Yes. So that thing with the A in the middle is not valid, but plus S is valid, although the move ordering to get to this position is not valid. But this position itself, taken out of the context of a game, could be legal. It's just that the game itself, leading up to that position, contains an illegal move. Whoops. All right. Um, so that answers all of the questions about how you reproduce this thing. It's, yeah, somehow the game record's corrupted. Um, so that's what's going on. Um, now I wonder. Next move is pawn 3e. So it's not as if somehow this plus came from the next thing. It's not like they had promoted pawn to 3e and somehow the plus got shifted to the wrong move. Or maybe that is what happened. But um, so I entitled this live stream Mad Science. And part of the madness, um, yeah, we've had enough fun with that particular thing today. Part of this madness uh, is going to be, eventually we're going to want to get a continuous integration pipeline up and running and not constantly throwing errors. Um, so I'm trying to keep my pipeline up to date, and I can see even after I have the last uh, merge request or pull request from myself, honestly, um, things are still not perfect. Uh, things are eventually going to get there, but uh, eventually once we get these builds not recording errors every single build, um, then we can start introducing new errors. Um, for example, um, just validating that all the moves are legal. Um, yeah, okay. Well, that's good to know that something is... So yeah, I think the top priority is probably get the build pipeline to stop producing errors. Um, although, like, I have a interest in, like, changing some of the clock code which I think uh, players would greatly benefit from my proposed clock code change. Um, so that's near the top of my personal list, but I think also very high priority is we want to get um, the build server building stuff as soon as possible. So this is building with OpenJDK 14. I should install that on my machine. Um, 
the build asset pipeline failed because of something. Uh, cannot find shogi ground types, so yeah, I've got to help with getting that, um, make that available somehow. Uh, I have worked a bit with chess ground, so presumably I could get shogi ground going and available in wherever it's supposed to be published. Um, what's wrong with the clock is that it uh, we don't have a Bioyomi mode. We need a Bioyomi mode. If you've seen anything about the forum posts in Lee Chess and just how many complaints there are by people who don't use Bioyomi, and Lee Chess doesn't have Bioyomi, Lee Chess has increment. For chess, increment might make sense. For Shogi, Bioyomi should be the default. Otherwise, you're going to get many, many, many complaints from people arguing about rules, things that would not have occurred in the first place if you just had a clock that um, gave people the time they need to think. So, yeah, Bioyomi is... Uh, well, it depends on the bug. Like, here we're talking about... Uh, this is kind of like the heart of the system, that you need to have a working heart and working uh, brainstem and such. You need to have all this stuff, like maybe not translations, but the most fundamental aspect of these build systems had better work uh, before you start. So you can be in a position that if more bugs occur, they can actually be recorded and fixed in a logical manner. This needs to be going. Um, but yeah, I think Bioyomi is actually a very high priority too. Um, I stated in the Discord that the reason it needs to be done ASAP is because you need to set down the precedent before players start setting expectations the wrong way that, like, playing without any increment or without Bioyomi. Um, so you don't want players to set the expectation that they'd always play incrementless controls, and you don't want to set expectations that increment is somehow better, because it is not. It definitely is not. Um, in my experience playing chess and shogi, uh, increment works for chess. Yoyomi works very well for shogi, and that's where that should be the default. And that's my position I made in the Discord, and it immediately sparked discussion. And that was exactly the opposite of what I was trying to do. And I'm going to enforce my will in code because I want people to be happy. Um, and it's fair that some people like one more than another, but if we need to have a standard, it should be something that is beginner-friendly. And... Um, yeah, no, Bioyomi is more beginner-friendly. Uh, it takes a little getting used to, but not having to budget whether or not you're going to exchange pieces in order to win on time is just something we don't want to uh, laden a beginner with. Um, like, you could potentially make moves that would change how many moves you expect there to be in the game. You could make moves that are deliberately questionable for the intent of trying to win based on the opponent not being able to think based on how what the increment is remaining in the game. It's it's not like chess where you can choose I'm just gonna exchange or I'm gonna not exchange. Like yes, and show you have that same tension but there's also this potential to make moves that lengthen or shorten the number of moves in the game to try to dunk the opponent on the clock, which is not really so easy to do in chess. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I would get rid of increment. It's... Um, really, there's... You'd need to make a strong case for it. It works well for their TV programming because they like to predict exactly how long each game's going to run for. Um, it's it's not 
uh, something that accommodates well. It's not something that's used in 81 Dojo. It's not used in other sites. I get you could say that's a Japanese thing. You could say it's that kind of culture, but again, like start with the simpler proposition here, which is that Yoyomi is the way to do it. And then if a strong case can be made for supporting other time controls without encouraging bad behavior, um, then um, at that point consider adding the feature. Um, but yeah, there's just so much crazy behavior. I mean, I could show you recently on Lee Chess, there have been people complaining in forum posts about the Fide drawn position. They set up a position with pawns locked and kings unable to move anywhere, and then they'll say, oh, you need to fix this right away. And I say, like, yes, we want to fix this. Yes, I have a fix coded for it. No, we're not deploying it because it's going to cause the entire site to lag. And this thing comes up all the freaking time. Uh, and this isn't exactly related to time controls, but it is. That, like, this is not a problem if you're playing with an increment. This is only a problem if you either get your, into a position like this somehow, or if you set the board up this way in the first place, which tends to happen about as often as you're actually going to get this position. And when you get this position, it's half your fault anyway. But, um... Yeah, if you have any increment whatsoever, this is not a problem. It's just your opponent being a jerk. And combination with the other problem on the site, with the other problem being that I proposed a two-phase approach for agreeing to a draw, come up with this a, a number of times, recommended, like, here's the steps in the protocol for a two-phase commit. This is how two phases commit two-phase commits work on every purchasing site ever. Here, you would hit your draw button, it would stay locked for however many moves you want it locked for, and then when you're no longer interested in the draw, you unlock it. And if anywhere in that sequence of moves your opponent is also interested in a draw, they click the button. And that way, when you're both frantically moving in time trouble, there's some opportunity for you to line up with your opponent and agree to a draw the same way that it works over the board. That suggestion was too complicated for Lee Chess. So instead you have people frantically mashing the draw button and trying to catch each other hitting the draw button and matching up and it just never works out. Um, but um, anyway, so my main point was that this is partly about the clock, partly about people just willing to bring up this one particular thing over and over and over and over and say that it's a big problem. And I keep saying, like, it's not something we can solve. The best solution is to use an increment, that we do have solutions, and that you and your opponent can agree to a draw in these positions, and it's okay, and we're doing everything we can. And I've even written something into my chess program to try to solve this both for white and for black to see if there is any possible checkmate. And it just doesn't perform well. So um, that said, um, yeah, people like people will complain about things it's in the nature of chess players to do that. Um, I, I hope shogi players are better. I really do. Um, Chess players, on the whole, are a decent lot, but some of them just, it's tough. So, yeah, I would like to try to keep things simple for now, keep them beginner-friendly. Yes, Byoyomi is a bit surprising to beginners, but they will appreciate it. Um, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. So yeah, my plan is to completely remove uh, increment in favor of Bioyomi, and that later on, if there's tremendously popular demand for increment and 
some way of handling all the nonsense that's going to come up because increment players are going to do stupid things. Like, some small percentage of them will make bad moves in ways to try to get an advantage on the clock instead of trying to play good shogi. It eventually is going to happen. We can stave it off as long as we can, but then we'll have to come up with some way to deal with those players. Uh, that's not going to result in a flood of forum posts, so... In the interim, it's probably better to just follow the precedent that's set by other shogi sites, which is just use a Biyomi clock. It works well. It has a disadvantage that you can't, like, say that I know my game is going to take between X and Y minutes. Like, with increment, you have some reasonable guarantee that the game is going to end speedily, um, unless you have an enormous increment. Um, Whereas with Byoyomi, like, the game could run on for quite a while. So that's the trade-off. Depending on what you set that to. Yeah, Shogi without the increment or Byoyomi, like, yeah, just completely without it, does result in bad games as well. Um, yes. No, yeah, absolutely. That's much more annoying. Uh, at least, yeah, no, you're right. Like, that, for all the same reasons, I'm against that, too. Um, yeah, I should actually... Uh, so what are our default seek options out here, anyway? Oh, we don't have the pool buttons. Okay, but, um, when we create a game... Um, yeah, it'd be nice if, like, this second slider didn't go below one. So you always have at least one second to play any move. I think that would help motivate good behavior. If the minimum were set to one second. Even if it's Yoyomi rather than increment, whatever. Um... Yeah, uh, that's fine, but who's going to be the one who deals with all the people in the forum who complain every single time, oh, he played this move because he was trying to get me to lose on time. Like, this sort of thing is going to happen because you can pick moves that either shorten or lengthen the game. Um... Uh, like, budgeting time is much harder in shogi than it is in chess. Players will complain in the forums, and somebody's got to be there as a moderator to deal with these players. And I don't want any part of that. Um, yeah. The increment does have that advantage. That is certainly true. But I think... Also, what has to be dealt with is that players are going to complain when opponents do strange things. Um, so, yeah, no, you're right. Like, it's, I'm actually curious, and I think um, as games are played, we'll see how it all unfolds. But, yeah, I think... Um, We'll certainly see uh, how long it takes to finish a game. And yeah, the fix formula is nothing too special. It sounds like magic, where you take the base time and then you take the inter increment multiplied by two-thirds. It sounds magical. But then you look at, like, chess games last about 40 moves. And so 40 uh, divided by 60 seconds per minute, I mean, that's how you come up with that magic formula. Um, yeah, I, I'm curious what the formula, if any, uh, for predicting the number of moves could be. And it could be something tremendously complicated, too. 
um, software has the ability to um, evaluate complex functions. So whatever you can write as that function could be something interesting. Um, yeah. So I'm sure over time we'll come up with more and more predictions of how long it takes to complete a game. Um, uh, yeah, I, I guess so. I just think uh, Yoyomi is going to result in fewer complaints, and I don't hear anybody stepping forward to say they're going to deal with all the complaints. I, I think, like, there's reasons on Lee Chess I elect to be a developer. I've been offered the title of moderator and turned it down numerous times because I don't want to deal with uh, people. <laughs> Um, like, I don't know, some people can, I mean, there's advantages for sure for dealing with people, but like, I don't want to deal with the folks that, uh, bring up the complaints. It's one thing, like, in a paid tournament director sort of, uh, position, or dealing with like the most elite players out there or something like there's advantages to enjoying that but like i'd rather focus on developing the best software that people can enjoy um i don't really want to get stuck embroiled in somebody's case against some other player and i don't think anybody's stepping forward to do that for shogi right now uh, so the less contentious things can be from the outset the better uh, well, can you? I don't know. I mean, you could just not deploy the site. Um, that'd be one way. <laughs> just, like, take down the site one day and say, you know what, we're done. <laughs> that, that'd be one way to not deal with them. Um take down the forum Let's just not have a forum uh, deal with things through email instead i don't know yeah yeah i could say things about the feedback forum and perhaps there's better ways to get feedback lately on leech us i've mostly been directing people just go somewhere else with your feedback because we're not paying attention um not really because like some moderators have still been watching it but uh in cases where i think somebody's got a legitimate thing to say i'll encourage them to bring that news elsewhere to the folks who are avoiding the forums so I just think some ideas um, broadly shared have a good chance of surviving. Oh, uh, man. I keep getting this notification about this Among Us thing. All right. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Well, you should see, there was a funny video on YouTube. Um, some contest where I think players were playing a one-minute shogi game with a real board or something. It felt like a one-minute game. Like, one of the player's pieces were all off-center and barely, or, like, falling off of his piece stand, and um, the opponent was having some confusion about, like, where the pieces were located, even if he wasn't saying it. Um, maybe that's just my take on the video, but 
Like, one player was definitely focused on winning the game on time. Um, it was uh, quite an interesting image. Um, and drew a comment from the judge after the game for before they were setting up for the next game. Let's make sure next game to get all the pieces centered on the squares. So, uh, yeah. I mean, so you could say things like, oh, of course they know that the people always try to win on time. And yeah, I mean, you could say that. It, it was just known that, that like, people are going to try to do this. And, like, there's nothing we can or should do about this. And I think, no, I'm just going to take the polarizing point of view that, like, nope, Yoyomi's better. That's why it's popular. It works well. Beginners get it, and it deals with all kinds of nonsense that you don't have to deal with if you're using it. So, um, there's really no need for added complexity of supporting other stuff right now. As supporting other stuff's just going to lead to more people complaining. Um, so. Unfortunately, online, uh, we can't have the same nice things that we can have offline. You might find in some circumstance, among some trusted team of people, or a club, or something like that, maybe it's okay. But uh, among strangers, I would definitely not recommend um, playing with anything other than Byoyomi. Like, unless you absolutely have to go. And in which case, like, you might as well just sell your soul and play without any increment or Byoyomi. And just say, you know what, we're gonna just have some fun. Um, Alright, so we got the site deploy. Oh. Alright. Did my new sounds not make it to the site? I don't know if they did or not. Not sure what the emergency deploy was for. Maybe it wasn't an asset deploy. That's too bad. Whatever. In due time, somehow, my noises will make it to the site. Apparently not yet. So, yeah, um, I mean, what else do we want to discuss? So I like, yeah, I have this special user style. I haven't updated it yet, but when I do update it, um, it'll be possible to use this style both on Lee Chess and Lee Shogi. So whenever I get around to updating it, it'll be updated. Um. So what I had been trying to... Oh. Hang on. Let me refresh this and go back. So I've been trying to validate that can Stockfish um, manage to process a position which has way too many queens in it? Um, I think the answer is no. But we're going to see. Or at least I'm going to see. This is going to take me forever to get this set up. Oh, well, we got to a depth of three, and then my engine hung. All right, so yeah, if you set up a chess position with too many queens, evidently it's similar to a bug that happened years ago when you gave it too many rooks. It gets stuck. Um, I have to fix that. Hmm. 
And will there be a mobile app version? Is there a stalemate? Oh, the too many queens thing? No. Will there be a mobile app version of this site? I don't know. Maybe. It's all open source, right? Oh, huh, wait. Um, application started. What does this mean? Uh, whoops. Okay, let's see. If I've managed to kickstart my little shogi site thing, probably not. Did manage to load all the Lee shogi code in seven seconds. I'm just trying to figure out if I can run it or not. I connect it to the database. Now, can I produce a position which would result in a stalemate, and would that produce a draw? Um, I'm trying to be careful here. Um, I'm not sure if this is in the context of which of my two other comments. So I made one comment about having too many queens, and I made another comment about um, the drawn positions and such. Um, I think you're talking about this too many queens, but here, like, I think the test position I was given, each player had a king plus 31 queens, um, and Stockfish just didn't analyze that. Um, Um, but, oh, if, I guess if we're talking Lee Shogi? No, but Lee Shogi doesn't have queens. Just kidding. Yeah, it would be interesting to test on Lee Shogi if stalemate's handled properly. Probably isn't yet. Not that we're ever going to get stalemate in the first thousand games, unless somebody deliberately aims for it. But that could be interesting or funny. Huh. It just dawned on me. With chess, there's a variant um, known as upside down chess, where basically it's the same thing as the start position, except all the pawns are moving backwards. It could be funny to see. Um, if somebody could make upside down shogi, what would that game theory even look like with the pawns defending everything? Um, now, I guess the immediate problem is that the pawns would immediately promote. You'd need to come up with some kind of alternate explanation of how promotion would work. Like maybe just have a normal board setup, but all the pawns are. Um, going to have a very hard time promoting, because they'd have to be on the opponent's side of the board to promote. Um, so yeah, you could just have a normal board set up, but all the pawns march down instead of up. Um, that could make for a very challenging game. Um, yeah, no, you're absolutely right. That, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I am aware. That's why I was saying it's very unlikely to occur. Wait. 
Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, withdrawing the rook makes sense, because otherwise the rook gets trapped. But now we have this position. Huh. Never seen that before. That's special in its own special way. Well, if you really want to know, you can check out the code and add tests to uh, the test folder and find out what the code does. Um, that's the capacity in which I'm curious is like um, what's testable about the site and can that test coverage be improved? I'd like to know. Also, huh. I was going to say also it could be interesting to see what the latest software deploy was about. I'm actually kind of curious because I don't remember seeing any bug fixes in the commit log. But um, I guess we'll find out later. Uh, but okay, yeah, here I am trying to connect. Oh, that's interesting. So I typed in... Whatever. Let me try typing it in a new tab. MyName.moo.com. Is this really going to redirect to localhost? It is. All right, so that's the problem. Um, that I need to fix some kind of configuration thing so I can run this on a local area network. Um, hmm, guess we're going to look at this together. Isn't that going to be fun? All right. Yes, yeah, so there's my chest position. Stockfish gets like three plies in and then just can't have it anymore. We'll deal with that some other time. That was going to be the main focus for, like, but we got derailed and it's okay. So now we're going to try to figure out um, what it is that I have to do to get this resolving correctly. Um, um, Application.conf. So there's base and version. Oh dear, I hope I'm not going to leak any secrets here. That's always a scary thing, is because I'm not sure where the secrets are hidden. Um, yeah, so... Let me grab this stanza 17. Y 13 lines of code. And um, application.com boop um, so the whole point of this file is that it exists um, so you don't have to override um, or rather this file is not committed uh, regularly um, so I can be feel free to change values in this file. Um, all right, so with that having been done, canceling execution, stopping server, terminating server, actually terminating the server, all right. Where did my run command go? Leela run dash v. Whatever. Um, so give that seven seconds to load. Again, I've got some old Java version installed because I was using that for compatibility with Tomcat 9, I think. For Play Shogi, I was using that. Um, and it should be fine, although at some point I should get OpenJDK 14 installed. All right, what are we talking about now?
Um, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I missed uh, the exciting game, didn't I? Goodness. Well, shame on me. That explains why things got so quiet. Um, I guess. Uh, okay. Anyway, I've been trying to get my site up and running. Uh, reload enabled. All right, so. Can I get this to load if I type in those magic letters and have the app running? Localhost 9663. That is not what I want to see right now. Um, mm -hmm. That's what I thought. So, is this a redirect? No. Okay. So, why the hell is my browser redirecting to a different host name? Um, confused. Ay, ay, ay. Now, I get this proxy pass, 127001, which does forwarding on behalf of the... Yeah, I don't get it. All right. Have a good night. Yeah, what the hell? Why is this not working? Uh... Maybe I need to do something to configure the socket server. Um, oh wait, I've already configured the socket domain, but the sockets are running on 9664, not 9663. Redis is running on localhost. Um, socket Redis is Redis. Oh, but I need the Leela WS running. Um, hmm. C pass nine six six four I think. Um, location here. Yeah, I have no idea why my site's redirecting the way it is, which basically only means that or means that only local hosts. Access it. Welcome to Nginx. Uh, trying to connect to localhost 9663. Got Can't contact it here either. Does it work at no? <laughs> oh, I saw this console do something when I typed in the 9664. Didn't even do anything interesting, just spit out another blank line. Um Okay. So, 
Yeah, after I tried to ping 9664, this all happens. After I tried the Telnet connection. So now we get this application started dev no global state. Um, so. Okay. Hey! Woo! Alright, we can connect to localhost 9663 which is basically useless. Um, um, unless I can do the same over here. Yeah, so when I connect to... Oh, never mind. I'm not sure if I... No, I have redirected at this point. So if I say I want my site... This is going to redirect to localhost again, which baffles my mind, but I've never installed Leela WS before, and possibly I might need to take your engine X out of the stack, because I don't know, I don't think I'm supposed to be using engine X anymore. Um, how do I exit? Colon Q, oh, colon Q and then a Y. Uh, service engine X stop. Alright. Uh, can I still load localhost 9663? Yes. Okay, can I basically do anything else here? Probably not. Yeah, okay, so the main page is no longer accessible. Which I think means I'm ready to try the next thing. Let me see why I'm getting pinged. Uh, do, do. Alright, what's up? I had a live counter of the number of online players. Uh, I have no idea. Um, I mean, players are all excited that the num the online player count crossed a hundred thousand, and they want to verify it. Um, the bug in the position is actually fixed. The October pat. Oh, nice. Um, mm -hmm. okay, fine. All right, we'll take it. They say it's fixed. I can say it's fixed. All right, am I even here still? Yep. All right. And what's in the change log? What what kind of bug fixes might have been deployed? Conf update UI build fixes. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Nice. Read me pick analysis board editor. Okay. What? Um. Also, I'm still confused. Sound. Does this make piano sound? Oh, it does. Yeah, how do I... De okay, I have to wait for an asset deploy for my new sound to make it. Um, conf update. What the world is... Oh. All right. Oh, that's right. So the reason I went here... Oh, oops. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. That's fine. Uh, so the reason I went here was to try to figure out... Um, where do I go to see... Um, The whatever it's called, the Leela WS thing. Yeah, I probably need to check out this thing instead of um, Engine X. Uh, Oh, 
books. Uh, let's go there. I've never, or rather, I've used this before, but um, it's, I have no idea. Stage deploy something. Wait, there's a readme, right? There's a readme right here. I could read it. Um, <laughs> Lee chess. That's cute. All right. Um, this is one commit ahead. Initial commit. VS code. Oh, stuff changed. A lot of fun stuff changed. That's exciting. Um, sure. Groovy, man. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. You tell me. But apparently I need this Leela WS thing running to use the Shogi. So let's see if I can get her running. Um. Hmm. So I have a patch. This patch. Or rather, I haven't even submitted it yet, because I don't know if it works. Um, but I made a change to a file. Well, I'm amused. There's 1,100 forks of leeches. Um But yeah, I made a change on a branch I called... Um, what's the word? Perspective. Orientation. Um, so here, black moves first. Work in progress. Just inverting definitions of white and black. It's going to be super popular. Um, time will tell just how bad an idea that is. Um, all right, so the command to execute for Leela WS was tilde something. I think tilde run should be good enough, but, um, want to navigate here to Wanderer 12 and from W12, we want to find Leela WS. Oop, there it is. And I think this is the command. Tilde restart the capital S. And so this should restart every time a file within the project changes. Um, oh, hang on. So this is AGPL, so I should star this. Um, Yeah, I don't expect I'm being going to be able to get this all running right now. It's definitely a sink or swim moment, and it looks like I'm sinking. That very much looks like sinking. Um, well, at least the servers are communicating with each other, even if they won't communicate with me. Listening to nine six six four. All right, um, I don't suppose that works. 
I mean, this is the socket server anyway, so, like, chances that I'm going to be able to communicate with that are slim to none anyway. Yeah, it's not a web page. The app server is running on 9663, but it redirects me to localhost 9663. I don't know how to work around that. Um... Yeah. All right, well, maybe we go back to the point I was trying to start on earlier. Um, but had delayed, but I had tried to start on my point earlier so that we wouldn't end up in this ridiculously jumbled situation where I'm between topics, but here we are. Um, so back to Stockfish. Um, so we can see that a depth of 13 stockfish gets stuck analyzing the 62 queens position. How about a depth of 3? Does not get stuck. Alright, how about a depth of 5? What's the threshold? Where's the pain point? Okay, 5 indicates some pain. Um, I'm going to fill up that hash table, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look sometime to see what the heck's going on there. It did fit, it does finish with five eyes. Um, so let's decrement that, see if any pain can be observed with four. Yep, pain point's still observable at Depth of four half moves. Oh goodness. It prints out a partial um, evaluation of four and eventually gets through the rest of four plies search. So either that's deliberate or not. Um, that's something to uh, pontificate on a bit. Maybe ask around a bit. Not sure if any of the recent search changes um, might have influenced Stockfish's ability to analyze such a position. Um, but regardless, it seems like some kind of upper limit on number of nodes that can be searched at a certain depth might have to be enforced server side. How's this test going? All right. Uh, Stockfish has played 1,000 games, and Stockfish 12 um, has shown a gain of negative 0.35 ELO versus Stockfish 11, which is somewhere in the ballpark of where I thought it would be. Um, so with 10% of the votes in, uh, I think we're probably ready to call it for um, Stockfish 12 saying that eh, it's not any worse than Stockfish 11. 